Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is a solo run of this week's feature Grandmaster, which is the Inverted Spire. As you can see, I'm doing it on Solar Titan. All fragments and aspects I'm using are here in the video. You can pause them and go back and have a look at them. Uh, I'm using Arblist for Barriers. I'm using Eternal Blazing for Unstoppable and Hothead Adept. Uh, Lorely Splendor is the exotic I'm using because I get uh, health regeneration if, if I'm low level. Uh, and that's based on my class ability. I'll speak more about that as we're going through the video. Now, <clears throat> when you I done this run maybe a couple of weeks ago when we I had as soon as I had access to the the Grandmaster node, which you get access to if you've already uh, got Conquer. I'll probably put up another run or two this week of it. Uh, and the reason why is because it's double nightfall reward, so you tons of ascendant shards, exotics, materials, stuff to be had, and this is one of the easier GMs. Now, what we're going to do in this video is, uh, 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 is basically show you a full clear, talk about what the best way to do this is, and try and make it as simple for you as possible, but this is this was my first clear based on, you know, I couldn't do it again until this week. So I'm going to talk about what, you know, the best way to approach this, what enemies to, to take down first, what, what your what your problem's going to be on here. When you get here to... I always come up to this left-hand side because I'm, I'm higher ground. You're always safer on higher ground. Sometimes you might have some fallen up here. You've got to clear them before you get up here, but most of the time you'll be fine. When I get here, I prioritise the Minotaur, the Void Minotaur. And then after that, it's just a clear-up. Now, depending on what enemies you've took... Uh, sometimes you'll get, a, a, after you've started killing these Vex, uh, you'll get a bunch of Cabal that haven't came down here yet. So, going up left, I find I don't really deal with that too much. They do come pretty quickly. You know, they, they come over pretty quickly, so I'm not... The, the ads that are here are the only ads I'm going to have to deal with. So, once you've cleared these enemies, pick up whatever ammo that you've used, and then move across the platforms, act, activate this uh, uh, conflux, and then you're ready to go. Now, when we get over to the other side, we're going to prioritize the Colossus. Right? He's arc shielded, so I could have used my Arbalist. I didn't have to use a rocket, but I decided just to put a rocket on him makes it easier to take him down. Then I do take a couple of adds that are here because it's arc burn, so 50% additional arc damage. Uh... And, and you'll do 25% more. Uh, they are, they've they all got basically arc versions of the Lord of Wolves. So you don't really want to be trying to run away from these guys. So what I do is, once I see a, a bunch of them all kind of in that, that walkway, that uh, tunnel, then I just put a rocket on them. That clears ton, uh, quite a few of them. I know that there's still ones up. My eternal blazing is arc, so it's doing a, quite a bit more damage. It has... I'm trying to remember what it's got. Has it got Genesis on it? Disruption Break or something like that. I can't remember. Or is it Rapid Hit? I can't remember what it's got on it. Uh, but it has high caliber rounds, which is why you'll see when I'm shooting the enemies, they're kind of getting heavily flinched. And it's because of, the dis because of the high caliber rounds. So that's just the opening area. This is really your first nightfall area, if you like. So when we get here, we're going to have all, all, all in all in this area. You've got four barriers and two unstoppables, some, uh, some void shielded minotaurs and goblins and a couple of snipers. I normally t and I, I always take these four snipers first. I start with that top left one because if you don't take him, it's not super quick. But if you leave him too long, he will teleport over to the right, which is where we are going to be going. Now. I kind of don't do this the way that I have been doing it. I I used to take this barrier all the time first. But now, I kind of tend to take the, the... the solar shielded cabal guy over the other side. The centurion. I take him first because he... sometimes... When I'm taking that barrier or fighting that barrier, he will turn around and say to get involved in the fight. And there's nothing worse than a big heavy duty ad shooting you when uh, when you're trying to shoot another big heavy duty ad. So, but as you can see, he never actually attacked me, and it was very easy to take him down. 
So once those two are down, I go to the same place. And the place I go is over to this right hand, over to the right hand side here. There is an exploding box here, a solar box, so once you get to about here, you might want to explode it, just in case the minotaurs do, uh, it will be the minotaurs that will do it, they might, they might fire their void cannons up here and explode it. Now, you've got two barriers, both of them, the minute you start shooting at one, they will both focus you. Now you can see the one on the left, he can't actually hit me. That's because I've backed away from the edge and I'm using the edge as basically cover. Some people call it head glitching. You can call it whatever you want. It's just using the angle to your benefit. Uh, so I'm taking down this first, this first, uh, this first barrier. Now, what I've, the reason why it took me so long, is because I didn't want to burn too much ammunition, right? So now I'm just gonna do the same thing, whittle them down. Now, it was unfortunate. I don't know why the first obelisk shot missed. Now, I was expecting him to shield back up, but he obviously won't because I never broke him with the first shot from the obelisk, so he uh, he managed to get some health back. So again, we're just going to make sure you limit yourself to shots. With your, If you're doing what I'm doing, once you put about five, you know, six or seven shots in, switch back to your barrier weapon so that the, the, the champion never gets too long. You're, you're ready to break his shield the minute he reshields. And it's just easier that way, you know, revitalizing Blast, which is the, the artifact mod that's causing the solar explosion, that'll do the rest of it. So what you're left with now, up here, is an unstoppable and a Void Minotaur and some, uh, some Hobgoblins. Now, once you've cleared the majority of the Hobgoblins, but definitely the Void Minotaur, your last wave of ads will spawn in and they will have two Void Minotaurs seen how easy it was to take them. They are the ads that will shoot you up here. Really the unstoppable, as long as there's Vex down there, he's he's cool. He's he's you know shooting fish in a barrel over there. Uh what will happen is obviously I'm clearing these hobgoblins. You'll know you see there, eliminate the Vex. Once the objective is complete, all the little ads are down. It's just you and this unstoppable up here. So I'll just finish him with uh, the hammer, which, unfortunately for me, bounced off him and went down the side. Now, there is an unstoppable and a barrier. They're both down low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use re Revitalize and Blast. You see there? That will do damage to the champion, and then his will do damage to the unstoppable. And now I'll just put a couple of shots on the, the barrier, and then we go again break and then I'll stop the unstoppable and you can see there it's doing damage to both of them so each explosion is doing damage to the other one now, unfortunately the unstoppable moved I'll just finish off the barrier so, sometimes that will happen the, the champions jump out the way especially in the next section but we'll get to that when we get there so again using the angles correctly making sure that there's not I'm not giving these champions too much to uh too much of me to shoot. Right? And that's that that is using the angle to your advantage. And we'll just stop him one more time. And then I always go down bottom because you're guaranteed you see there, there was my guarantee. You're guaranteed I can't say that because then somebody will put in comments, I didn't get one, you're a liar. Uh, you're almost, there we go, you're almost guaranteed to get a brick of heavy from one of those champions. So, now we're running into the next area with just about full obelisk. Well, uh, full obelisk. Uh, and, and almost full heavy. There's going to be a champion here. Uh, there's going to be a barrier. We are going to obviously take that barrier because to get the, the double rewards to make sure you get as much of them as possible... What you're wanting to do is you want to get uh, platinum. So I was hoping that that champion would fire his arc kind of stunning rockets. The machine gun's just a little bit scarier. <laughs> but it, it, what I was doing was I was trying to get him to focus on the right-hand side. And then I could come over here and 
very easily take the rest of his uh, health down. But it, I, I used that tactic once I broke him, but it, I didn't need to. Once you break the champion, you can keep them in a cycle of just, you know, once they're prepared to shoot at you again, you can keep them in a cycle of reshielding. So they won't actually shoot you. It, but that all depends on after the first break, after you break the first shield, it's all dependent on how much damage you do in that first section after you break the shield. And then once they're ready to attack, they won't. The first thought will be to shield. So as long as you keep the damage coming in, you, once you break a, a barrier champion on GM the first time, they won't shoot back at you again. So a couple of ads here were just kind of... You see, see the, the, that is the high caliber rounds just knocking him back. So there's some, there's two barriers and an unstoppable avoid shielded incendiary and some goblins. If you go after a champion first, the chances are the unstoppable will take the goblins. But uh, because I'm greedy, I wanted them all dead. So now what I'm going to do is put a rocket on and then break the shield. Now, as I said, I'm not doing a ton of damage in between, right? Because I'm trying to conserve any uh, ammo. But it's still enough that it makes the Hobgoblin's first thought to shield and not to fire at me. See? And it'll do that every time. So you can see, you, it's not like you have to do massive chunks of damage. See, he was going to shoot there, but then he was like, oh, I'm exposed. And they really do think that. It really is about, I'm exposed. Just throw my grenade now. Reload the rocket. I'm just going to break him again. And because the, the barrier, the unstoppable, sorry, has, has got his eyes on him. Now, see there, I was trying to do the thing where you, you, make, you, you chain the explosions. Didn't work. Doesn't really work here because the ads are too far away from each other. So... Now I'm just going to go through the go through the motions of, of making sure I, I can break as soon as they as soon as they uh, shield back up and the revit revitalizing blast. It really does do a fair bit of damage, especially when you consider that this is arc burn. It's not even a solar burn GM. So now we've got the Unstoppable, and we've got the Void Shielded Incendiar. And there we go. And now we can use the Scout Rifle just to take, take the Incendiar down, and there you go. So, again, I didn't use much heavy. Some people might have said, man, you've got six rockets. I noticed when I was doing this run that I didn't actually drop a ton of heavy. So... We're not quite at that point yet, but we'll, we will get to a point. I, I have, I've got full, uh, I have actually got full special now, so we're all good. But we will actually get to a point where we are actively going to be properly conserving heavy because we want full heavy when we get to the boss. Now, we're not going to do a one-phase boss melt. We are going to have to take, take the boss through the three phases. But we want to make sure that we're in a position where... You know, we're not really having to tread water too long till we can take the boss down and, you know, having as much heavy as you can get matters. So when you get to this point, prioritization, I took the two adds that can shoot at me from range, the snipers. Now, I've, I've, just, I've went back here to pop my super. And the reason for that is, if I push up too far, I will, I will bring the, the barrier champion that spawns in in the mid, I will bring him into play, and we don't want that. The guy that spawns on the platform just above where we're shooting now, we don't want him in play just yet. So now I'm going to try and clear the rest of these ads, because their kind of wrist-mounted grenades are a pain. And what I might have to do, see here, actually, I see one coming in. Got to be careful. I'm going to try and take these guys, but... Again, something about the ads, it's 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 cool. It's not it's not a big deal, but something about the ads you see there, I moved forward, barrier popped, so now I am actually just gonna take him. And 
there was a nerf to to the arbalist and you can see there that i don't i know because i haven't used the arbalist for so long i don't actually remember how good it used to be because if that's it if that's it put after the nerf was it really that much better before that because the arbalist has uh basically it procs its own damage uh it, it can self proc when you break a shield it gets a damage boost and it's just it's just part of the weapon's makeup. There's nothing you can really do about it. They nerfed it so it wasn't as efficient, but you could see they were taking that barrier champion down. Still pretty strong. So it's still, you know, I'm, I'm kind of shocked I haven't used it more. So now we're in a position. We've cleared all the little lads. There's still maybe one or two in, in, in this right-hand room, but we've killed most of the little lads. Uh, there's two arc-shielded big dudes the arbalist will sort them out you can take them from range if you if you want the arbalist can sort them out so uh what we're gonna do is just make sure there's no ads left and right and take down the arc ads that will bring in two two centurions two solar shielded centurions at this point because if you just see to the left of the screen here uh, there's where we teleport over. Once we've cleared this area, we're going to teleport over. There'll be an unstoppable. And there'll be a bunch of ads there. We're going to use revitalizing blast when we stop the unstoppable from over here to clear those ads, so that we've got a clear runway to land on. Uh, just to, we've took all the ads, I think, from the other side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to clear this side. And then, and then take out the ads, so the, the arc shielded guy on the other side. Now, there is a part coming up that it can be unusually tricky. And, and the reason why it can be unusually tricky is... Right, so there's still an ad on that side. We'll use what arc, what arc to, to clear, to break his shield. You see how much damage the arbalist does on a headshot. It's ridiculous how much damage it does. I was I was more inclined with these Centurions to use the Arbalist than a rocket because they sidestep rockets really easily. Those the minute you fire at them, they're like, nope, nearly got me, but not quite. So I'll break this one shield. Now I managed to break him with the Arbalist, which meant I got a damage boost, but good old ads. Uh as soon as I broke his shield, he was having none of it. You could call that AI. That's the AI kicking in. You know, I'm not really going to attack whilst uh, whilst uh, I'm unshielded and and basically vulnerable. I call it super annoying, but it's just the way it is. When you take the snipers up top on each of these roofs, make sure when you're looking for ammunition, which is what we're doing now, make sure to look on the floor. Because 90% of the time, the ammo does not drop where you killed them. It will fall on the floor. So, I'm just looking at where I've actually engaged ads to see what we've got. And I think I actually do find uh, some special over by... You see there, I'm, I'm showing it in the video. I've killed him. This is sometimes where, the, where, if it's not up here, it will be down the side. And I think you see over the other side, that's what happened. So we're going to take these two uh, Centurions. There we've got a brick of heavy. And now we'll go over. You also see what there's the brick of heavy that dropped from the ad from up there. So we're going to take this guy. Hopefully, there we go. And now what I'm going to do, I'll pick up this brick of special in a second. Revitalize and blast. I know I've got a brick should I need it, but I don't I don't think I actually go for that brick. Because I've got a brick up there. And I'm basically gonna use, for the most part, revitalize and blast to kill this unstoppable. Now, back in the day, I'll give you another strategy here. You probably could do it with the obelisk. If you're running this in a team or whatever, you can take the the unusually tricky part as as uh, where that unstoppable is, is below there, there's two gladiators. And there is a barrier. That can be 
unusually tricky. You can actually take the barrier from over here. Now, I don't... I have done it solo. It all depends on, as you've seen already in this run, and I'm pretty sure you guys are aware, it really all depends... As you can see, I never actually picked that obelisk, those shots up, and I never picked this heavy up because I was going to see if I could take the barrier. Now, that is annoying. Now, we've got heavy there. Now, I'm going to go and see what else has dropped. I know, Now, I've remembered about the special I left up here. There we go. That barrier... Normally, you seen there, I don't know if it was just bad timing or whatever, but as soon as I, sh even, even as I shot my rocket, he moved. He was trying to get back in cover. I'm just looking to see here because you can actually see all the ads from this side. Now, it was unfortunate. I think it was after I started shooting, I realized that the barrier had came over and was in a good position to take him. So we'll, we'll, we're just going to go across it. There's another way to take them. Got a brick of heavy here. And we've got obelisk. I don't know why I'm not picking up this ammunition. But so what I do is... So now I'm, I'm going down. That was a mistake. I remember that. Normally what I do is I push the... I push the 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 bricks down. Uh, I push the brick the, the the bricks. I push the barrel stone, the exploding barrel stone, which does damage to the, the the guy down there. This guy, this barrier, and the rest of them. And then I can look down, and the barrier is normally standing looking up at me, and I can take him from up there. I have done that before, but now I'm going to take him from down here. And it's it, as you can see. As I said beforehand about about uh, doing damage, so I'll just wait for him. I'll break him one more time. I'm trying to keep ammo. As long as you do enough damage, uh, as long as you do enough damage, you will. Uh, he won't shoot at you. He'll he'll try, just try and re-break. Now you'll have to bear with me because I've done this on the stream, right? I've got a brick of heavy up there. I didn't intend on coming down. I looked. I look, I pushed the, the thing down. This is a problem with when I do when you do runs on stream. The problem is you you're not really super focused. So I am going to do a couple of more runs this week. I just wanted to get one out, you know, after reset, so you guys had something for this uh, for this GM. So what we're going to do here, which is the way I always kind of do this now. We will stop the unstoppable and then stop them again. And sometimes you get two revitalizing blasts. I'll just put a couple on him. Now I'm going to finish him. And then what I'm going to do, I'm running away because I know there's dogs in. And then I'm going to jump onto here. And I just stand here. Now, you can, as I'm doing, you can actually shoot some of the ads and get some ammo don't shoot too many or, or there's no point in uh, in being up here you don't want too many because the point of being up here is you're not bringing in too many ads so I've got one rocket it's not great but we've got one and I just wait I you know because you've got to activate the transit system to get the unstoppable in so after that point, you can just kind of hang fire. So as soon as it gets to 100, we just jump across. Make sure when you go through that teleporter, you don't boost into the teleporter. Now what we'll do is just take care of some of these ads. I've moved over to the right here for a very specific reason. Because sometimes, you see me looking behind, it's happened. It happened on the stream while I was doing these runs. What happens is... Because all the dogs are there and they come chasing you to the teleporter, sometimes one of them will get teleported through with you. And he will he will uh, he will despawn 
eventually. But not sometimes, not before he bites you and kills you. Or, or it comes and attacks you and kills you. Now, there are snipers up here. There's an exploding barrel. Now, on GM, that exploding barrel will not kill them. It's just unfortunate that any heavy that was going to drop for me dropped up there. So we get that explosion. And now what I'm doing is just whittling the champion down so I can finish him. There still is. You see there, there's still one up there. And I, there's still an incendiary. We'll just whittle him down. I don't want to use all of my special. There we go. I got a brick of heavy. That's pretty cool, but not much in the way of special. So now we're, 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 we're heading towards the boss now. So we've got a couple of these guys to take down. You see, every time you shoot them with a weapon, it's got that kind of the thing, the high impact. It just makes them basically start doing <laughs> start doing yoga or some stuff. They just like bounce all over the place. You have an unstoppable, and you have some, I have I have to say I was very happy with that grenade. There, I see a brick of heavy flying, which is good. So we'll just break this and send this uh, elite shields. There is a barrier, there's actually three barriers coming up, which is why I'm being kind of stingy with my special. I know that there's another incendiary. So, let's we'll see if we can get get the break and then just whittle him down with the scout rifle. And there's, we've we seen special drop there, now I can use my arbalist on on uh, on the champion. Once we stop him again, if we can get a clean stop on him, which we didn't, but if we could have got a clean stop on him, and what I mean by a clean stop is stop him and he's in full view of me, so I could have put a rocket on him. Now I've got a clean stop on him if I want, but the obelisk is going to be strong enough. There we go, we've got the finish. And you might have noticed the problem I had there was, and it's something I don't pay attention to too often. So we'll break his shield, and then, man, the ads just move so quickly. It's with these big dudes, it annoys me how fast they can move. So now I've decided, as long as I can keep his shield from coming up, I'm not wasting it, you know, anymore. You know, I might have had to have. And there we go, he's finishable. Just annoys me how, how fast those big dudes can move. So now what I've got is I've gave myself an opportunity. I remember thinking that it was quite annoying that all the way through I was dropping special. I did actually drop a brick of special and it got blown off the map. The special I got from here was when I killed the unstoppable special actually dropped from him. Uh... So, now we're going to have to, well, we're probably going to have to use some obelisk here, quite a bit of obelisk. Hopefully we'll drop some more special for us to run up to. And now uh, you can see the barriers there, so I'm going to put a rocket on them, get the obelisk out straight away. And, unfortunately, I'm going to have to put another rocket on them. And then when we break his shield, we're just going to have to hope we get more special. And now we'll just finish him off with the scout rifle. As I say, special is a big thing when you're using the obelisk. It's a very big thing. So hopefully one of these adds, because there's two barriers to come. And we're just hoping that we've... Uh, We've dropped a bit of special. And there we go. So there's still some ads down here. So what I'm what I'm trying to do is again that that this probably I mean it's an easy enough section, but it's annoying at the same time. 
I'm just gonna look. Oh, there we go. We've got two bricks of special. There we go. It's annoying at the same time. Oh, there's more here. There we go. Full special. It's annoying at the same time because uh, those. I mean, it's bad enough that you've got the drill section, right? It's bad enough you've got the drill section. But the drills that are going round stop you from uh, from actually getting the stun on the champions because they, they, they block the angles. So that can be a little bit annoying. But when you're taking these two down, sometimes, like I've said previously, I'm, I'm not doing that here because one of them was engaged <laughs> in a bit of a battle with, with a dog. So I decided to just play it safe and take one at a time, whereas normally, if the dogs are all down, which you could actually just do that yourself, if the dogs are all down, then what you can do is uh, you, you can chain those uh, revitalizing blasts together. So now I know I've got another brick over there. I do want some obelisk at the boss, but it's not requisite because there's no shields really that I can't break with the scout rifle. So again, I don't want you know, I haven't got as much heavy as I would like. So that's not great. I'm hoping uh, for a brick from this champion. And there we go. And I, and I get a brick. And normally when, you, when you've took those champions, normally there will be still some dogs up. There we go. And there's more special. I have got my hammer, which... Kinda saved me there, and there you go. Just about. I'm just going down here to see if there's any heavy. Now I have actually. I don't really like going down here too much when the drills are still up, because there have been times where, you know, when you're running along these pathways, you want to stay away from the edge, because there have been times where the drill has just nicked me and caught me, and it's enough to kill you. So whenever you're running those those lines, stay as far away from the the, the drill as possible. Now here we're at the boss, so we'll exp we're going to talk a bit about exactly how we're going to do this. So the the boss battle here it's actually quite simple, right? The boss starts on the main platform. You do damage, then you drop down to another platform. You do damage, you drop down to another platform. So there's actually a little bit more involved than that, but that's that's the basics. There's there's no more involved in, in how the fight goes. Apart from uh, down at the bottom platform, the boss is going to be active. He's going to be moving. You're going to have waves of ads coming in. In the middle section, the floor is going to burn after a certain amount of time, and the boss is going to be shooting at you. Same as up here. So the idea is get the boss moving as quickly as possible so when we get here what i'm going to do as you'll see here is the boss is damageable the minute he there's no you'll see here he's damageable right from the start so what i done straight away uh as i threw my my hammer at him which gave me which gave me uh radiant now as you can see he's teleported he's went now we're going to go down to the bottom. It gave me Radiant and I got Restoration. And I've almost got my... I've almost got my class ability back, meaning I've almost got my... Uh, my... Uh, well, I've got it back now. My Restoration, my ability Restoration. So, as I said before, now for some reason, you see here, whenever I'm aiming, I'm making myself available to him again. Because this class is his cover. So what I'm going to do is just put some rockets on him. Get him to move. See the floor is burning now. There will be some ads. If the ads do uh, become troublesome. You see I can't stand up just yet. I've got my super. I can pop my super and just clear the ads. So I'm going to put the last rocket on him. Now you see there the ads have come in. I'm now getting pushed by ads because he hasn't gone yet. So I'm just going to pop my super, which means I can just clear all these ads. I might get some ammo as well out of it. 
I just want all the ads gone. I, I can see some heavy there. Now I'm going to put the last, last couple of hammers. He's went immune. I'm going to go pick up my my ammo. Now I'm back up to almost full. I would like my heavy. Uh, sorry, I would like my super back. But uh, it is what it is. So now what I'm going to do, you'll see here. Throw a grenade. Get the hammer off. Which gives me radiant. And that allow me just to clear these ads a bit quicker so this is where all the strategy comes in if, if you're going to talk about strategy here all the strategy comes in at the boss fight i always kind of start here in the middle right let's get some rockets on them i'm not wanting to melt them right i would if i had my super but i don't right that is what is going to be your biggest problem right your biggest problem is going to be we're trying to get him to settle in a position he fires that that blast now the reason why i didn't melt him i could have possibly could have was i wanted my super i wanted to make sure that if he pushed i have my super so i probably could have cleared him here just with the six rockets but you know you've got to be careful in these positions now i always kind of kind of roam around these two areas because it gives me cover from his those uh, arc shots now he actually does hit me a couple of times with them you see there uh, I put my grenade down in front of where the ads will be coming but uh, because I was standing in here with 100% resilience even though I got my uh, propped my, my lowerly I uh, just use this to try and take some of these out. I propped my lorley, so I have again. But you'll see, with standing in the, if I stand in that sunspot, it really, really ramps up how much of my class ability I get back quickly. So the great thing about the lorley splendor exotic helmet on the Titan is it. Uh, it's going to be strong next season because restoration is going to go, classy restoration is going to go. But unless they nerf that so that uh, so the arc gets gets like a decent goal, unless they nerf that, uh, then Titan's still going to have that restoration next season. So there is one more add. I am playing it pretty safe. I'm not speed running it. Uh, I'm just trying to move around, get an angle where the boss can't shoot me. It's all good. Hopefully these ads now are available to be shot and killed. There's still one up. I've almost got my super. See the boss is going to fire. As long as I'm behind these two pill these two structures, as long as I'm behind the structures in the middle, he can't really do anything to me. See he's going to throw his shot at me. It will hit. That acts as the cover for me. Get another shot on him. I'm trying. To, I'm not wanting to. So the way this, the way it's going to work, and most people know this already, is I'm just finish him off, and that's that's the last. I've almost got my super, so I'm just going to wait until I until I get it. The way it works is when he goes headless, when you do so much damage to him, it's like the last 10, 15, 20 percent of his health, whatever it is. He then kind of becomes really aggressive and will come up on top. But also, he'll come onto this main platform and come chasing me. But the other problem is, it's going to be a bunch of exploders from all around us that are going to appear. So, I mean, I don't want to have to be doing damage, avoiding him, avoiding exploders, taking arc damage from everywhere. So, if it gets hot, I can just pop my super. So, now I can go after him. I've got my super just about. So, that's him what I would call headless. That's how much health he's got left when he does go. No, I he's 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 decided he doesn't know if he's gonna come or if he's gonna go. And as you can see there, I didn't have to wait for my super, so you don't got a lot of drops. That as I say, that was my first completion of the GM. I will do more runs. I am gonna be doing this probably constantly all week on stream solo. So if you fancy come to see different strategies on different characters I uh, will link the stream channel in the description. It is on YouTube, so 
we're all good. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you've learnt something and maybe this will help you guys get your clears done. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.